Hi. On April 13th, Francine Wheeler, who lost a six-year-old son at Sandy Hook Elementary School, did the weekly address um, by the White House that's usually reserved for the president, urging policies on guns, on gun control, along with most of the parents of the Sandy Hook massacre victims. Um, I called my Senator Maria Cantwell today and talked to a staffer on this, saying I believe that they're using these families as political tools, and they, the staffer corrected me and pretty much told me I was an idiot um, because they wouldn't do that. Um, Washington wouldn't do that. So um, I'm going to share a little story that I don't talk about much, and I told him this. Um, over 20 years ago, I had a daughter murdered in cold blood. Now, the grieving process is a, is a very long and hard process, and, and I still don't like talking about this. It, it was very, it was, it was horrible. And not even today could I get up and make a policy on what happened with my child. So I explained this to this man, and he pretty much called me ignorant. And this is Maria Cantwell of Washington State staffer who answered the phone in Washington, D.C. Um, he either thought I was lying or ignorant um, because he said they wouldn't use these people as political tools. These people have voluntarily came and said guns need to be banned or regulated very much. And I'm thinking, well, that's bullshit because um, the grieving process is different for each person. However, to get up and make a speech that the President of the United States would make in a weekly address, I couldn't have done it. There's just no way I could have found words to even say anything like that. Um, the murder was horrific of my daughter, and I've not only lost my daughter in a murder, I lost my mother when I was eight years old from the cobalt experiments. The government killed my mother in the cobalt experiments. Um, so I proceeded to tell the staffer this, who, who really didn't care. Um, however, I think it's very shameful that these Sandy Hook parents are doing this. They've either put these families on medications to, to, be, to be doing this and laughing and smiling and having their children, other children paraded around and having fun and going to the Olympics and all this and, and touring the country. And I understand some of them didn't even get to see their children in the caskets. Now, um, I'm going to tell you, I saw my child in the casket. There was no way my child was going to be buried without me seeing, touching, loving, kissing, holding my child before she was buried. Um, that's just a mother's instinct. So something's wrong with this Sandy Hook hoax, or or even if it was a massacre, they have got handlers there in place, and they are using this. Sandy Hook parents should not, and I am telling you, should not make any gun policies. This is wrong in every which way it is wrong. And for a president and for senators and congresspeople to jump on board, it is very wrong. I would not make policies based upon my child's murder. I couldn't. This is a personal thing. It is a personal, personal thing when your child is murdered. Now, if the parents are in their grieving process and they want to blame guns... They need to do a little more research and blame the medications that the that the killers or whoever did this was on. Um, it seems to me that the pharmaceutical industry needs to be brought to justice, not guns. And 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 letting families who have murdered children dictate policy and do weekly White House addresses. There's something very wrong and strange with this. Now. The Maria Cantwell staffer told me I had no right to even talk this way because I don't know how it feels. Well, I do know how it feels. I know how it feels twice. My mother was killed in the cobalt experiments 
when I was eight years old and I had a daughter who was brutally murdered. It is a very personal thing. Grieving is very personal and you don't do it on stage. And for those of you who say it wasn't a hoax, and I know that some of you YouTubers out there are saying that, well, until you've lost a child, you have no room to talk. And I have lost a child through murder and I am pissed right now. No one who is grieving, they, they I still grieve over my daughter. I have no right to go up and make any policy because it's too emotional to get up and make a policy over how my daughter was murdered. And no other parent has that right either. And I am tired of our government using these kinds of situations to make policies. Now, I had to do this rant. I'm wishing everybody peace and love and no fear and and I'm hoping some of this madness stops now this country is ran by we the people not we the victims now we should stand by those people who are going through the grieving process and do the proper things that we used to do when people grieved but not parade them around with their children this is just absurd and I'm tired of it so now we have Sandy Hoax parents dictating policy to our Senate and my senators going to the staffers going to scold me ah that was a wrong move I think that Maria Senator Maria Cantwell and her staffers they need to be they need to be gone um, when you let that happen no one's going to let me go up there and say hey government why did you take Native Americans the poor people the prisoners and all these other people in the 1960s and give them all these experimental drugs and test and kill them like my mother in the cobalt experiments I got no money I've got not no apologies I've got nothing I've got ignored and over my daughter it's personal and I cannot no longer make a policy over her death and it was with an implement um, of destruction at someone's hands but I could not make policies I believe in the Constitution pre-1871 and we have got to get back to that that is our saving grace and the senators they're living on another cloud and using victims of Sandy Hook to create policy is shameful wrong and it's a disgrace to America thank you